After spending all of what is First Timothy 4 and 5 reminding and instructing Timothy what to teach those in his charge, Paul the Apostle to the body of Christ wraps up this instruction by noting, If any man teach otherwise, and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words. 1 Timothy 6 verses 3 to 4. Let's dig into this a bit. We often find the Apostle Paul pointing to the uniqueness of the doctrine that the risen and glorified Lord Jesus Christ instructed him to teach and preach. Here we see such an instance where he speaks of his own instruction as even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, which we know to be the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. Romans 16 verse 25. The source of Paul's revelation and associated teaching was heavenly instruction directly from the ascended Lord Jesus, seated at the right hand of the Father. No other apostle, writer in what is called the New Testament, speaks this way of their teaching, and yet most Christians are completely unaware of the uniqueness of the revelation given Paul. As a result, many blend Paul's instruction with that of the apostles to the circumcision and Davidic kingdom to whom Peter had bound and restricted their ministries in Acts 15 and Galatians 2, and then wonder why the result is confused. By the time of the writing of what is 2 Peter, the Apostle Peter addressed the elephant in the room, namely that the prophetic return of King Jesus had not and apparently was not going to happen at this time. We know from Paul's writings of the revelation of the mystery that this was because Israel had been concluded in unbelief along with the Gentiles, Romans 11 verse 32. As a result, Israel's prophetic earthly kingdom and associated prophesies had been placed on hold until the, until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in, Romans 11 verse 25. And so, in addressing this, Peter says, an account that the long-suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. 2 Peter 3 verses 15 to 16. Here, Peter admits that the teachings and writings of Paul have content that Peter and other apostles and preachers of the prophetic kingdom and circumcision gospels find hard to understand. The reason, of course, being that Paul's message was one of the mystery and Peter's was one of Israel's prophecy. And so, regarding those who would knowingly preach other than the doctrine which is according to godliness, given Paul by the risen and glorified Lord Jesus Christ, or would even seek to blend the prophetic and mystery messages together, as so many do today, Paul says they are proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words. It is hoped that the content of today's readings will challenge you to search the scriptures, rightly divided, to see whether these things shared could be so. And regardless of whether you come to agree or disagree, minimally deal with the verses noted or quoted and come up with just how you will address these in what you doctrinally believe. Believer, Christ's instruction through Paul speaks specifically to the heavenly body of Christ and differs from the earthly prophecies pertaining to Israel. Deal with it 